We did it! Look at him! Sick. Welcome to the flip side, and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution, where last episode we created, uh, well, what I would call a successful park, as we took a park that was failing miserably, probably run by some poor, poor sad sack who was win way over his head, and then I took over. And now it is, um, well, the island is naked, as I have cleared off all the trees, it got a little tree shave, except for this guy this one tree which is fighting me um but anyway we've got these three different levels to the park we've got actually let's do this let's do this let's go ahead and actually continue flattening out this area here nope that's smooth nope there we go very nice oh no 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 no, no. come on yep bring it all the way up i know that i know it's a big raise but you know what we're gonna have three levels of the park we have our organizational administrative facility area oh man it's almost this is almost too high this is almost too high uh, let's see let's see what it looks like when we do the whole thing so we may need to <laughs> lower this a smidge because of how narrow I'd the air hey, you, you zip it cabot you know send out expeditions Get the squares yep, to yep, research yep, yep, yep. something. It's too high. Get coffee, that sort of thing. It's too high. Uh, cream and two sugars. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to drop it back down. Drop it like it's hot. There we go. Man. Shouldn't have messed with it so, so aggressively, but that's okay. We're going to figure out. Wait, can I lower my slope? What does that do? I actually don't know what that does. Is that going to make it steeper? Or less... Oh, no, no. Down. All the way, baby. All right. Now... Okay, that that widens it. That is more... Okay, that's the more severe. Okay, so I'll deal with this later. But for now, we'll just call this right here the barrier of where we're going to build for now. Everything down here is like a <laughs> down-the-line kind of deal. So perfect. We'll deal we'll deal with this disaster I've created later. For now, let's just focus on this beautiful area up top where we could probably complete every mission that this park is going to throw at our faces from up here. So let's go ahead and start with creating a second enclosure, which we desperately need as we are pretty much maxed out with our herbivores over here. Uh, or our ankylosaurus is going to start getting little grumpy if we keep throwing friends in there. So I know he doesn't want to do that. Uh, be be friends with more people. That is. Um, yeah, we could we could actually put it on this side. I was gonna put it on this side, but we could do it over here, and it'll be perfectly fine. All right, It'd be kind of great too because people will walk in and be like, oh, what's this right over here? Boom. This will be the closest we've ever put an enclosure to a park entrance. So that'll be kind of cool. All right, and then we'll go right there for the viewing gallery. I'm not going to be able to put anything huge, but we could probably put something like a Baryonyx and some Deinonychuses, perhaps, in this one little area. Oh, man. I blew all the park's budget <laughs> on my little landscaping fiasco. And fiasco is exactly the word I would use to describe what was going on over there. All right, let's go ahead and try to line this up with... Obstructed... Aha! All right. And then... Oh, man. Okay, I'm broke. I'm broke. I had like $1.3 million a second ago, and then I got all fancy with the with the landscaping <laughs> so we're gonna have to recoup and we could do that just by coming in here perfect come on what's it, what's it, what's it fighting me for all right gee many creamy 
we're just gonna leave it for now. I know I can send them out for more expeditions, but uh, send them out in a minute. I want to do this first. Alright, so we're gonna hug the corner of the substation here. Just to get as much real estate inside this enclosure as possible. Come on. And... Alright, that'll do. Alright, so how are we doing in terms of viewage of dinosaur? Oh, no, no power. No, no wonder! Alright. Oh, sick. Perfect. Right down the side. That looks great! Alright, so we've got pretty dang good coverage in this place, actually. So let's go ahead and throw a gate. Would have been great there, but oh well. See, where's the best place for said gate? I suppose it may not be the best place, but <laughs> it would appear it's the only place I get to put it. Okay, throw some water in here. Um, let's go ahead and take a peek at what dinosaurs we actually want to put in here. Because I'm thinking Baryonyx is what I'd like to go with again. We I know we had those last time, but it's a good, highly rated dino, and we could probably throw a ton bit of modification. Oh, I'd love to see a Baryonyx with a different color on him. That'll be sick. Alright, and then we'll do that. It's going to raise him to $1.23 million. So we're going to have to wait just a moment. Oh, nope. That's the ACU center. I'm looking for an expedition center. And let's just go ahead and send some friends out. Oh my gosh. Those trips cost me so much money just now. Holy cow. All right. Well, while we wait for the expedition center to do its thing, let's go ahead and finish optimizing this for Baryonyx. Um, that's, that's unfortunate tree placement for the viewing gallery there. Um, water. Could probably go with some more water. Oh. Okay. okay, there we go, there we go. Because I'm going to have to put the feeder. I've got something new no, 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 I actually don't want to do that, lady. I don't want to do that. All right, um, I'm going to need a feeder. I'll wait on the feeder. Just because those things are freaking expensive. <laughs> and we're trying to save up $1.23 million! In reality, though, I'm going to come in here. I don't need that second modification I put on them. What does that make my rating go up? The rating goes up by, uh, it's pretty substantial. By what, what is that, 23? But you know what, I just, I wanna do it now. Oh, wait, did I not do that? What'd I do? I think I screwed something up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There we go. 742,000 and perfect. Let's go ahead and incubate him. Sweet! All right, I'm really excited when we get the in, for when we get the Indominus Rex or the Indoraptor. Gosh, I feel like it's been we've been playing this for so many episodes and we still don't have those. How and when do we unlock them? Let me. I want to look real quick. Uh, if I go to research, is it? Isn't it? In, oh, I don't have a freaking research station built here. Why do I not have a research station built here? Gosh, dang it. Opera. And now I can't freaking afford it. <laughs> That's so annoying. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh. Well, actually, I'll hang out at the Fossil Center because there should be more people coming in soon. Maybe some stuff I can sell like this and that. Excellent. That is what I'm talking about right there. Um, having issues with the buttons today. Okay. Operations, we need to have this research center. Not to, I mean, there's nothing for us to research right now, but we have to have X amount of research centers in order to do things in the future. So that is why we are going to open that big bad boy up right now. All right, we need the fish feeder enclosure, or just feeder rather. And you can see that, can you guys see that? Regardless of if they can see it or not. We've got good coverage here. 
So as soon as the Baryonyx is ready, we should be good to go. And what I think we're going to do today, actually, is I'm changing my tune a little bit. My tune be changing. Let me see. Nope, wrong button. Um, let me look at the islands real quick. In here. Okay. So, in, actually, in order to unlock anything else, we need to get to three stars. But then I'm going to travel immediately to whatever thing is here just to get the research center built, and then I'm going to come back. That way we can continue making progress in terms of being able to actually research crap and get some new dinosaurs because we are kind of low on cool new dinosaurs right now. I mean, we have a lot of newish dinosaurs, but nothing that's like super cool. But you know what? Let's throw in some compies with the Baryonyx. That'll be kind of fun because he can have an ideal population of 16. And he can actually have two Baryonyxes in there at one time. The social group of a compie can be one. What? <laughs> Excuse me. That seems odd. Okay, let's boost this guy's rating a bit. He's at 15. Wow. Um, maybe we should just keep it at 15, yeah. I mean, that kind of sucks, but let's go ahead and start cooking up some compies. And we'll have a Baryonyx compie party right here to the right of the entrance. And uh, what do we have? A bowling alley, a restaurant, and a gift shop. We are going to need more good fun things if we want this to be a successful area. So let's go ahead and throw that, which is not, I wouldn't say an emergency shelter classifies as a fun thing, but it is a good thing to have. And then we're gonna go guests and put a bathroom. As we all know, the immense need for bathrooms at any point, any corner of our park. And so now we've got a couple bathrooms and that is what we pride ourselves on here at Jurassic World Flipsider Edition. There's always a bathroom within shouting distance. Wow. <laughs> Look at how tiny it is. It's so small, I can't even like focus the camera on this stupid thing. Come on, let me look at you. Oh my gosh, I can't even get a good shot of him. There he is. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have so many of these guys running around. That's horrifying. Yeah, you better acknowledge it, pal. All right, throw another compy in there. And a Baryonyx. Let's see what he looks like with a different color. I can't really tell with the angle of the sun. Hey, that's pretty cool looking. Got a brown Baryonyx. Bury the brown. Sweet. All right, we got two guys being tranked. Let's get a third compy. I think we're just gonna go four, four compies. I feel like should be enough. I want to say, but that's that's what we're gonna go with. Um, enclosures, feeders. Just looking for three stars here. So if we can chuck in a couple extra guys, like that's the whole purpose of these compies, is just to boost our variety and dino rating up a little to try to get us to that three-star goal that'll unlock another island, which will unlock another research center, with a, which unlocks a whole set of new research options for us. So, that is the path forward for now. Alright. I don't know how these guys are able to trank a compi. That is amazing work. Kudos to the guys flying in those helicopters, because that seems like a very... <laughs> Very impossible task. This challenge looks interesting. You, and I thought you it got it. First. Thanks. Question though, lady. Who would you have thought of instead? Like, you're kind of stuck with just me, aren't you? All right, let's see. Requires research. Requires more expedition centers. More expedition centers. Research. Expedition, expedition. Blah, 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 blah. All right, I'm just sending a couple guys out. All right, we are gonna be knee in need of some stuff here. Let's see. Shelter coverage is only at 42%, so we do need another shelter up top, but that can wait. Dinosaur visibility, 60% will be much higher once it stops counting the dinosaurs that are up in the corner. 
Uh, attraction finance. Not worried about that right now. Food rating. We're needing some food down here and over here and actually up here. Okay. Nope. Wrong thing. Let's take compy number three. Drop him over here. Compy number four. Gonna be here forever more. Alright. We gotta get some food going here for my my friends. Alright, just a fast food joint. People, they just got off a train. They just want something quick, dirty, and easy. And then up here, we're gonna throw another joint. Right as they exit. Be a nice little treat for some folks. And then we actually need one over... Ah, g g g g g g g g <sighs> Why am I having issues with my buttons today? Um, and then what we'll do is we will attach this here, delete this, and then let's throw the fast food joint right here. There we go. No power? What? I've maxed out my power. How? Dang. Well, I've, I mean, I have a lot of room. I can, oh, crap. <laughs> Ah, crap. I forgot I had two small ones. I was thinking I had a medium-sized uh, power station, but alas, I, I do not. Crap. Okay, this is not big enough for my friend here. Actually, da -da 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 -da, if we just dump some of that, we should probably be okay. Now he's missing wetland. Wetland. Okay, so... What it comes down to is this place just isn't quite big enough for my friend. Um, okay, 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 okay. Let's, make this, let's make this quick. All right, so he's just going to have to live with this, <laughs> with this substation. <laughs> and he wants a little more water. I took away too much of his water. He was not happy with that. So add some of that back. All right, how's that? hey -o! Okay, that's <laughs> just barely enough room, but it is enough room. And this is kind of an ugly corner now, so let's just cover it with trees. So what we're going to do is kill some of the trees over here and throw in trees to cover this, because I don't want to look at it. Oh, well, I really can't. All right, hold on. I got to check a, a compi, and I want to double check with the baryonyx to make sure everything is well and good. Okay, he's running. His comfort level is staying solid at 100. Perfect. So the Baryonyx is a happy boy. Now we just need to find ourselves a compy. Which I'm wondering if it would be easier if we just waited for those to land as opposed to actually trying to find a compy running around. Because I know there's a compy in here somewhere. Oh, there he is! All right, how you doing, dude? Oh, wow, you are really easy to please. All right, fantastic. And we got some of the compies. The only problem is right now is one of our viewing platforms is down, but that will be a problem not for long. Gosh, I'm really excited to redo this area up here because it didn't quite turn out. Just kind of had to build things quickly and it went a little bit too quickly. And now it's just, it's a little messy for my tastes as you guys know by this episode of this. What episode is this even? Hold on, let me, is this episode 13? Dang, but they've all been pretty long, so that's like seven or eight hours worth of videos. What? You guys have been watching for that long? I appreciate you guys. I really do. I really appreciate the way you guys have stuck with the series for so long uh, and so reliably just coming back to to catch new episodes when they come out, it's way cool. And I've really been enjoying making these for you guys. So, hope you continue to enjoy them as we continue to make our way through the game. All right, we're just going to do one of each of these bad boys. All right, and then I can even put a bowling alley. All right, this is going to help big time when it comes to... Uh, or just what? What are these people? What are these people called? Guest, Revan, breast. Um, I'm having a heck of a time wording today. 
But then again, I haven't had any caffeine. <laughs> and I usually have had a couple different hits of caffeine up at this point of the day. And I have had none up to this, uh, this point. So my brain's not quite functioning at full capacity. Because it's looking at me like, dude, what, what are you doing? Where, where is our energy boost? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry, brain. But this is, this is life right now, dude. All right. We got to detox off the caffeine. There's too much caffeine in my system at any given point, which is why I'm trying to detox. And it sucks. It's the worst part. Caffeine is such a wonderful thing, and then you have too much of it, and you have to try to, like, detox yourself off of it. And just for days, you'll have headaches. Okay. That's, that's an exaggeration. I've met a lot of people who don't really have a lot of bad detox from caffeine. I, on the other hand, do tend to get pretty bad headaches, but it's because I overdo it with the caffeine, you know! All right. Um, so, anyway, that's... Um, it's, uh, that's my story for the day. <laughs> All right, we want to make sure we're maximizing as much revenue out of these as we can. Let's do the shirt. Sell it for, yep, that's great. All right, and then the bowling alley. This one will do six pin, because I think we have nine pin going on somewhere else. Ooh, not much. Not much going on, but we only have 45 people in there, so I really don't need that. All right, and then we'll just sell it for... 32 bucks. That seems to be the magic number. All right. Let's see what, what we're looking at here. Okay. Good profits uh, going on. Do I have a Sinoceratops? Or was that a waste of m a mission selection for me? Got a Gallimimus. A Triceratops. I don't think I have a Sinoceratops here. Yeah. An Edmund, an Iguandon, and an Ankylosaurus. So let's go ahead and terminate your face. And terminate again. Okay. Now let's... Go back. What's holding us back right now? Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. We could put a hotel, which would be good. And our transport rating is looking a little leaky. Okay. And then obviously our dinosaur ratings are not great. Okay. We need to. We need to really do a wowzer dinosaur. So perhaps we'll save up and get like a sick Baryonyx. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing the grid line so that we can organize where we're gonna... Oh, no, 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 no. I saw that curve there. Uh, but if we can figure out the layout of this next portion of the park, we can start expanding. So we really need another... Um, like marquee type dinosaur, like a T-Rex or something. That's uh, that's gonna be pretty important here very shortly. All right, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and throw this bad boy down. All right, um, let's actually do it like this. Yeah, that'll be good. It's actually a good spot for it right there. All right, Cause then we can throw another one over here. Oh, can we? Uh, I saw blue there for a second. Come on. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So let's just connect this bad boy. We'll go. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. What the heck? It just happened. that. I'm not even going to worry about that nonsense. Don't need one on that side of the monorail. There's nothing up there for guests to see. Alright, so now we've got this. Let's go ahead and throw... Yep. Very nice. Alright, this <laughs> obviously... <laughs> we will get to that later. <laughs> I don't even want to think about it right now. It's so disgusting. Um. Hmm. See, I'd like to put one here potentially, but it's gonna be really hard to t 
turn the track. Maybe if I put it here, but these two are going to be hard to connect if I do this. Oh, man. Well, let's, let's see if I can... Okay, that's going to be okay. Okay. Very nice, actually. That looks pretty good. I can be happy with that. All right, so let's go ahead and just build our way down. And make sure we can get the substation down here. Oh, that's a nice spot if I could make it happen. Very good. All right, so that'll help our transport rating, which is good. And then we're going to come over here, and we did this, right? Okay, excellent. So we only have one million dollars. I really thought the carnivore area would help boost revenue more than it did, but it really didn't help much at all, which is confusing, but uh, oh, oh well. Let's get a hotel going, and we're going to throw some hotels right in here. Oh, path not connected. It's probably this guy. Yep. All right, nothing down here for the folks to enjoy yet, but all in good time. All right, so I want to build two hotels over here. The first one's going to live. Oh, I'm hoping I can fit two hotels here. I know I could. I just want to be able to... Oh, yeah, that looks. that's going to look great. Sweet. And we're going to do something a little bit different this time with our hotels. Is we're going to just come down. And then what we'll do is we'll go like this. We'll link them together. And then from there, link it to the main path. And let's throw a little bit of decor in there just because we have not been doing that too much. And I don't know why. It's so such a nice feature. Oh, hold on. I have an idea. Let's throw a little bit of water in here. Oh, man. I was going to build like a makeshift little pond. That would have been cool. Oh, well. All right. Landscaping. Where's my pretty flowers? Are those my pretty flowers? Coastal. Vi vibrant. I like the vibrant one. There we go. I'll just do that in this whole area right here. All right, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Make it nice and lush for the people who are staying here at the hotel. I love it. All right. Then let's go ahead and throw some scenery down for my friends. All right. Like this nice rock. Just looks really cool. And some, some more. Let's do, oh, you know what would have been cool, actually, if I could have put the tree right there. But I don't think that would have fit, actually. Probably wouldn't have let me do, do that. So let's instead just go with, uh, yeah, that's a nice tree. Put one right there. One right there. And oh, I was hoping to be able to put one right in here, but it doesn't look like the case. So let's go ahead and try a different kind of tree. It's a little bit skinnier. We could put a tree and there and there. Look at that. That's a nice little area for people to come and experience the park. I'm very excited to get the concrete walls because I actually like the way the concrete walls look. And just uh, aesthetically, I think it'll be a good look uh, to expand upon. All right, but we are going to have needs here, I have a feeling. Let's see. Wow, not really. Everyone's pretty pretty content here. Everyone else is. We got visibility, food, drinks, food. Wow. Restrooms. Okay. I was going to say, there's going to be people needing to go to the bathroom at these, at these hotels. I've got a feeling. All right, we are so close to that three-star mark that we were shooting for. So we just need to hold out a little bit longer. Okay, 
and we have to figure out a way. I'm bringing this contract to you while it's still hot. That's a weird way to put it, but thanks, I guess. Oh, sweet. Connect it right over there. All right, and then we're also going to add a shelter here for everybody. Oh, we're so close. I just want to get to that three stars. Okay, what's holding us back right now is our dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. I could just do another Baryonyx at its current state. I just wanted to get like a more pimped out one, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Um, rating is 160. That would help push us towards that rating target a little bit more. <sighs> All right, let's just do that. Let's just do that. So anyone else is going to start fights. And I didn't want to build a whole nether enclosure quite yet. I mean, obviously we need to build another control enclosure, but I don't have the funds that I really want right now. I would love to be making a little bit more money, but I'm going to go ahead and start work on the next enclosure, I suppose. All right, so this is going to be our T-Rex enclosure for the new map. Because, as previously stated, every single island needs to have a T-Rex because I love them. But we're going to switch up the the texture on them this time. They're going to look a wee bit different. We'll do the chocolate dino, the chocolate Rex that I, that I enjoy so much. All right, that looks nice. Let's go ahead and just swap this guy into a substation. And then we'll start building the fence line. But we need a huge uh, payout from this Rex. Like, it needs to be a high-rated Rex. So we are going to have to save a bunch of money to be able to do it. Because I want a heavily modded T-Rex to get as much rating as we physically can get out of the big guy. Go ahead and just do it to there. And then we'll come up and over. All right. And then again, we're just going to go over. It's about the same. All right. And this actually just needs to come straight over. And just rough estimate. All right. Cool. We'll take it. That should be plenty of room for my Rex. Right, I'll give him a little bit of water. Doesn't need a lot of trees, but he's a Rex. He's a he's a he's an animal. He likes his trees, so we can have a little bit of privacy. So there he goes. All right, that should be plenty for my Rex enclosure. I feel good about this. Okay, but <laughs> I have no money for said Rex, so, but just give it time. Just give it time. I'm hoping this Baryonyx gives us the little push over the edge we need to get us to that three stars, because then we can have a whole new set of expedition areas opened up to us. We could have a whole new set of research things open to us, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be moving along in a good direction. And thankfully, one of these places I'm sending the expeditions off to looked like it had 100% of all three fossils. Hey, Chunga Kingosaurus! <laughs> About dang time we got 100% on that one. Uh, so they're definitely going to bring me back stuff I can sell. Very likely I'll be able to sell stuff from there. And not not from that top one, though. Hey, oh, profit per minute, 339 now. All right, so we're going up. We're going up. The fact that I have the hotels, I think, helps. But what we should really also be working on at the same time is these, which I have. A research cost! Well, yeah. <laughs> I should do that. I'm just talking about all this research I'm going to be doing. ACU accuracy and dreadnought. All right, let's go ahead and actually do a science. Guest shelters. That's easy. I got that. You got that, girlfriend. Jurassic World properties are built. And oh, look. What have we here? All right. A contract. 
Oh, yeah. Wow. In order to get guest shelters up, yeah, we're going to need uh, a lot of them. Um, actually, I don't think these can... Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. What? I need to cover these two? Why? <laughs> my, <laughs> my hourly and salaried employees don't need protection. <laughs> Evidently, they do. All right. Fine. Fine. I'll protect these guys, too. If I must. All right. And then we'll throw one right over there when I can afford it. Okay. We got our entertainment for the research. D -d 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 research cost. Right? Should be able to do that now. Nice work. And you didn't even make it look like work. Well, you know. It's a skill. Love what you do, right? That's the credo of the entertainment division. Show business. And on Isla Tecano, you're showing how business gets done. That's worth the reward. Thanks, dude. I still appreciate you. Oh, dang. That's a ton of stuff. <laughs> that was a very fruitful trip. Let's do that again. <laughs> what? Come on, son. All the way up to $1.2 million out of nowhere. All right, let's knock this out because then we'll be able to complete. Oh, hey, we completed the contract, so let's stop. Exactly what I needed. Well done. Thank you. Or you're welcome. I don't know. One of those. Here's Large substation. Oh, I want that so bad. Tekanya. Oh, sweet. Okay, done. <laughs> I'm about to do it. All right, so she just came to me with another contract, and I'm doing that right now, so that's awesome. By. So in a moment, we should be able to get our large substation, which is great, but we got to start working on security a little bit. He's going to start feeling a little left out, and you know, the feelings of George, they're very important to me. I'm doing what I can to Release a Taurosaurus with a skin toughness to modification. Okay, hold on. How's my Anki? All right, he could he could survive with a Taurosaurus, but can a Taurosaurus? Oh, sick! I forgot about my Baryon. Can my Taurosaurus survive on his own, or does he need two? Let's take a peek into his genome to discover the truth. Uh, he needs two. Unless I do that, then he's happy with one. <laughs> <laughs> Marvelous. All right, excellent. Oh, hey, oh, something's happening. Oh, hey, there it is. Check it out. Island highlights. Carefully plan your facility around the tight space oh, this place is uh, constraints on this tiny this island. island Reinforced enclosures. Use concrete fences. Hey, we were just talking about those. To ensure containment of giant predators at this facility and prepare for the increased cost of generating power on an island this remote. All right, so let's go ahead and hop over there just for a second to make sure that we have an operating expedition center and research center so that we can utilize those things back on Isla, Isla, Isla Tecaña. I actually remember liking this one, except for the fact that tornadoes show up on this map. I'm pretty sure. All right, we'll watch the little Nothing introduction. About this island feels right and my instincts are usually pretty accurate when it comes to issues regarding the dinosaurs so much of what happens on the islands is a secret by necessity yes but this this just feels like something else too cramped too isolated it's as if somebody is gathering up all the materials for a disaster tread carefully Thanks, Ian. Appreciate it. Appreciate the warnings. I'm not sure what they were Doom up and to gloom. on this island, but it certainly doesn't scream tourist attraction to me. You're going to have your work cut out for you here. Restricted building space and high power upkeep will see to that. I'd recommend investing in some big ticket dinosaurs, but they don't come without complications of their own. <laughs> you can't confine nature this way. Because nature adapts. It searches for weaknesses. It finds them and exploits them. Not sometimes, all times. This island 
is worlds away from Hammond's dinosaur paradise. And if things go wrong here, worlds away is the best place to be. Wow, look at all these. Okay, Trudon. Pachycephalosaurus. Chasmosaurus. Chasmosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus. Okay, alright. Looks like the Camarasaurus. And this Chasmosaurus. And the Plankathensis. <laughs> that's all that's here. Okay. Fossils. What do we got? Okay. Dreadnoughtus. That's from the other island. Okay. 2001. Hey! Oh, yes! What? Oh, we're doing that. We're doing that. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. All right. We got a couple mm, enclosures. Dang. Uh, where's my concrete fence? Oh, it just ran. It just unlocked. Okay. So, 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 so. Indominus Rex today. Whoa. Whoa. Was not expecting this. What a turn of events. So we're going to go ahead and hustle on back uh, to... Do, 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 do. Um, back to where to east. And what we're going to do here real quick is pay for the research over here because we've got so much money at this park. So we're going to use this park to fund the research and also be doing expeditions to some of these sites where we have a lot of the dinosaur fossils already so that when we go back to uh, Isla Tacaño, we can sell everything and hopefully have the enough money to do a big ticket item for something akin to the Indominus Rex. <laughs> and I was just talking about how it feels like it's been a while since we've done like a new dinosaur. Genetic research. Indominus Rex genome. Oh, well, look at all these. Nice. He's the Sorna security all the way up. Okay. Kylosaurus. Ooh, that'd be cool. And Kylodacus. I just need to do a uh, Takanyo Research Facility mission. Dominus Rex Camouflage. That's cool. What? That's cool. That's way cool. All right. So while we're here, we're just going to knock out a whole bunch of these, sending all our research teams out to gather the information needed. All right, fossils. Okay, we're not going to sell anything that we can sell on the other maps. But we will continue to extract things that we can't extract over there. All right, so it's just those three. Let's go ahead and come back up here. All right, 100%, 100%, 100%. That's good, 100%. That might be 100% in a second with the Gallimimus. What else? Okay, sick. This is all going to be things we can sell. Oh, Excellent. Okay. Building upgrades. Are these just, uh, okay, reload speeds? Okay, so two reload speeds. Those are always good. Those are always good. Should probably get these medical treatments figured out pretty quick here. All right, so let's go ahead and start on those medical treatments. Make it, make it snappy, people. Make it snip, snap, snappity, snip, snips. All right, I'm, I'm so pumped. I can't believe we're getting the Indominus Rex today. I really didn't think we were that close to it, but evidently, we are. Look at, look at the money of this park. That is just nutty. $1.1 million per minute, essentially, going on down here. But we still actually have things that we need to, need to finish here. So while we're waiting, we'll request a contract. I'd strongly oh, come on, son. Taking this contract. All right. You got it. I just need... What does it need to be? Worth $5,000? Here's your chance with this next contract. Considering your skills, taking some photographs should be a no-brainer. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the confidence, my friend. Oh! Too bad my 
driving skills are not akin to my photography skills. Ugh, hate that I can't drive through trees. It's so stupid. Alright. Nope, wrong thing. The Indominus Rex is a magnificent creature. If evolution had the time, well, we'd have just hurried things along. The result is nothing short of spectacular, so don't dilute the value of my work, or you'll be dealing with me. Wow. Directly. Jerk. Alright, let's go here. Realizing. Adding task. I've just seen the report on your successful contract. Let's stay at this level moving forward. <laughs> Whatever you say, big guy. <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. Alright, let's just get this to the end so that we can get this last one started and then we'll hustle on over to the other island. Come on. A little bit more. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Ooh, ticks. Yeah, we definitely want to research that. We don't want our dinosaurs having ticks. Ooh, 200,000, 200,000, 360, 360. Dang. Okay, alright. So we're going to have some good money. Uh, waiting for us. And what we'll do also is send them out. And send them out. Oh, and then they're going to come back. And I'm going to have so much stuff waiting in the wings just to get sold. Okay. All right. Let's head, let's head back. All right. That was a nice little detour. Oh, wrong button. And now... This is a side yes, hustle. we do need we to do that. I'll be back to finish your mission later, dude. I promise. That is a Jacob guarantee, because I would like that incubation speed. Um, or was that a... I think it was incubation speed 4 that I get for finishing that. See, as I talked about earlier in this episode, I've been trying not to drink so much caffeine, which means I've been drinking lots and lots of water. Um, which is supposedly more healthy for you. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. All right. Let's see how much money we can rack up here. Oh, that is a beautiful thing. All right. Let's check out what we got going on. We've got an Indominus Rex, which we can't afford. About the Rating of 273. Not forgetting. She's so nice. So nice. All right. What can we still afford? Okay, we can afford that. And then maybe one more. One more big, big leap. There's a plus 18. All right, so that puts it at $4 million. Okay. All right. This is going to be a good thing. <laughs> this is, is going to be good. Just have to wait for these guys to return, and I'll likely be able to afford it. And that is going to help big time with the rating of the park, I would imagine. Oh my gosh, I still have a Baryonyx over here. What am I doing with my life? Nobody can even see that dinosaur. No one even can jump. All the way over here, ridiculous. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back to the stars. What do we get? Coastal. Oh, that's is that a like another skin color texture thingy? Come on, make them CPs. Make them CPs. You can do it. You guys shot a compy, all right? I believe in you. <laughs> they can nail a compy from the sky. <laughs> but take that long to shoot a Baryonyx. That makes no sense. All right. Asset to be collected. Hopefully, they get along as well as I'm, ex as well as I'm expecting them to. All right, Indominus, let's do it, boy. 356, not bad. And when we're rolling in dough, we'll put a fully modded out Indominus Rex in there, which would be sweet. Um, wow, that would be... I like that Research 4.0. Or the, uh, the, uh, the b -b 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 Success Rate 4.0. That would be really nice. Then you can really mod your dinos, like, 100%. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> I just want to sit here and watch it. 
and just take it all in. But you know what? That's that's not gonna be great, great video. So let's just move on. I've just finished reviewing this new contract. Guest count. Right All right, we're at 2,600. As sure soon as the Baryonyx it. gets dropped in its little cage, I'd imagine that will go up to 2,700. And we're also going to have the Taurosaurus, which the Taurosaurus is going to help also because that's another unique species. So with that, with the Taurosaurus and the Indominus, that puts us at 9 out of 12, which is fantastic. And we still have some more areas of the park that we could develop. Because currently, we're only on this top portion. I need to level out the ground over here, which I don't want to spend the money on currently. But we've got all of this area to build on down here as well, if we want to continue expanding. And then we've got a big area right here for an enclosure, too, which we could do a second... Um, what, what am I looking for? We could do a second herbivore pen because those tend to play nicer than the carnivores do all right let's go ahead and do a l i like the large substations now that i have it i'm going to use them much more frequently uh, and i don't need no i needed that dang it <laughs> not what i wanted to do at all there we go perfectly straight love it is that going to be big enough for, hmm, for the Indominus Rex? Kind of wondering if it is going to be big enough or not. Um, okay, we need, we need medications, but to whom are we delivering them? Who's sick? Dang it. Freaking, no, stop. Who's sick? Is it my sleeping? Wait. Must be this guy. It must be. That would really suck for this guy. He just came into existence. <laughs> Got knocked out, transporting, got sick along the way somehow. Yep, there he is. Look at that. What? That's crazy. The science division is always on the lookout for ways to improve our bottom line. All right. Go medicate him up before he makes everybody else sick, would ya? All right. I'm hoping this is going to be a big enough enclosure for the Indominus, but I'm starting to think that it's probably not. And if that's the case, then we'll just, we'll expand. No biggie. Yes. Looks so much better when it's the concrete walls. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I like the idea that guests wouldn't be able to see the dinosaurs just from anywhere because it makes the demand for the viewing galleries that much higher. Yeah, this is n this is not going to be big enough. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and make some quick modifications to this real quick, just to help make it a little bit bigger. I don't know if it's gonna be quite big enough, but I wanna maximize every foot that I really can here. All right, just bring it out to there. Sweet, that looks great. And over here, well, I was gonna put food there, the but not anymore. Solid, huh? This is what we like to see. And then a gate. Oh gosh. Um. <laughs> okay, sweet. Okay, so it's a little bit bigger now. Added some extra space, but we do have some more holes in the viewing area. That's okay, that's okay. I'm not not stressing about it. Not yet, at least. All right, let's go ahead and add a new team. Let's go get that picture for our science friend. Oh, no. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're great. Oh, wow. I really do need to remake it up here. Holy moly, this looks terrible. <laughs> I'll fix it. All in good time, friends. All in good time. 
All right, let's go get a photo for my science friend. Even though I really should hold on to it because my security buddy's gonna get mad at me. Yeah, that whole area is not looking great, but everything over here looks freaking phenomenal. There's a little bit of a dip there. I don't like that. Oh, jeez. Now I can always add an extra ranger station to these parks <laughs> to uh, make it a little bit easier for me to get around. Oh yeah, just barely, but it count it. It counts. Nice photo. All right. Ay, 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 ay. Please don't sabotage me. Well I'm working on your quest right now, okay, big guy? Hey, robust digestion. <laughs> oh, he's been so so passionate about that robust digestion. All right. All that stuff's going to cost too, me too much money right now. I don't want to worry about it. All right, we got our tour source. This should make George happy. And I'm going to not sell them. I'm going to go ahead and keep them. Throw them in with the herbivores. Boost that. Um, variety. Dinosaur species variety up a little bit higher. Let's go ahead and just, I guess, finish this enclosure while we wait. Definitely going to have couple live bait feeders and a normal feeder as well. I think I'm going to need more trees. There. They got a whole tree to area over there, pal. Alright. Just a little bit more. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> That's all I want from life right now, man. It's just that this thing would go a little bit faster. Oh, it's taking so long. I'm an idiot. Just realized what I did wrong. I didn't give it the skin toughness mod. What am I doing? I just made one. <laughs> I just released one without giving it the right modification. Oh, dumb. Dang it. All the butts. Well, oh well. It's, it's, he's going now. He's doing his thing now. Golly. Yeah, you're welcome. Put that one in the wind column. I always do. All right, and then we'll go with another security. Financial security Expeditions to dig sides. I can do that, security. friend. So take this contract. Dang, I can't believe this one is still available for me to do. We've just been cleaning up over there, getting tons of money every time we send people out. Just like that. Up to $2.2 .2 million. <laughs> what? Maybe I should do the Indominus and then right over here do the T-Rex. Just right next to each other. Or put the T-Rex in there and put the Indominus over here in a new enclosure that would be big enough. Here's the thing. If the Indominus is an unhappy boy over here, we'll trink him, build him a new one over here, then put the Rex in there. Because I'm pretty sure the Rex would be happy enough in an enclosure this size. It's my... It's, it's it's my assumption at least, so I hope I'm I hope I'm right in that. But uh, time will tell, I suppose. Ranger team two cannot find a route to its destination. All right. Why? What destination are you trying to get to, friend? Why can't you get there? There's a there's a gate right here. Can Ranger team one figure it out? Are you just being special? See if a notification comes up. What? What's your glitch? Maybe it doesn't like where I put the, the gate. I mean, I could put another gate there. But it seems like that one should be fine. Okay. So just because it uh, it's in trees? Uh, maybe that's it. Maybe that's the problem. Take out some of those trees. You guys good with that change? Cool. Fantastic. You good now? We moving? I think I see the line moving. <laughs> so I think that means they're on the move. 
85 percentiles. We are so close. Hey, just heard of a great opportunity we should get behind. Okay. Whatever you say, Isaac. Okay. Da -da -da. Where are the rest of my fossils? Bring me my fossils. Seriously, where the heck are my fossils? I sent you guys all out at the same time. Oh, what a beautiful thing that is. What a beautiful thing that is. And it's still letting me do it. I don't know why. I figured for sure we would have depleted it by now, but whatever. I'm totally good with it. Oh, 91%. We're so close. So close to just finding out that our, our pin is not big enough for our friend. Because I feel like I remember it needing to be obnoxiously big. But I could also be thinking of a Brachiosaurus. Because I know those ones really do have to be massive. And I believe when we played through this on the Xbox, someone can go back and check the old series if you want to. But I think we had an Indominus and a Brachiosaurus here on this map. Um, if I'm remembering right, the Indominus was down here. And then the Brachiosaurus, I think, was up here. But it needed to be huge. Oh, the Taurosaurus is ready first. I don't care. We're going in Dominus first, baby. Hey-oh! Aw, oh, yeah. Let's check this bad boy out. <laughs> we did it! We did it! Look at him! Sick. <laughs> That's awesome. It really is just okay, the coolest I'm dinosaur. I'm not quite sure what you're doing here. Other than playing with fire. An Indominus Rex? You're creating a hybrid. A dangerous hybrid. You're not only creating life, you're condemning it. No. Hopefully no, no. not your own. Chill. We're good. I've got this completely under control. Ish. <laughs> completely under control ish. Sleep. Sleep quicker than you're sleeping. Oh man, his comfort goes down so freaking fast. Holy moly. Go to sleep, dude. Security division owes you one. This is not not ideal. Come on. Its own reward. My Goodness gracious. Canyon secure, you're being additionally rewarded as well. Way to stay on task. Guys. Collecting assets. Guys. I I think this is a bad idea. Hey. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think this grassland is probably on par with this amount. The grassland's only there. Oh, actually there might be less grassland over here. Crap! Crap, 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 crap. Okay, I gotta, ex I gotta expand now. I gotta expand now. So I'm realizing the, the vastness of my error. Okay. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come down this way. No, 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 none of that nonsense. Wait, why is it, why is it curving up? Don't do that. This is how we're gonna do it. Uh. Ah, crap. All right, right here. Okay. Orthodox way to set up a pin, but desperate times, desperate measures, my friends. Just have to find a way to add that extra grassland here. All right, and so what we're gonna do is demolish that. Actually, 
Let's build. No, not the stupid piece of crap. Uh, this. Um, I think I hear the helicopter coming, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Uh, we'll do that. Okay, now we can go ahead and expand. Oh, yep, here he comes. <laughs> here he comes. The Indominus Rex. Here he comes. Then we can, um, we can destroy, it. wait, no, that all has to stay. Yeah, that all has to stay just like that. All right. If I can only get rid of that little nub, but I'm not going to be able to. Um, but what we can do is take this and go squish, squish. Transportation complete. All right. Let's go ahead and connect this bad boy right there. Oh, what? No, no, no. Excellent. All right, how we doing? How we doing? Hey, oh, I might have overdid it, actually, but better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> oh yes, check it out. That is too awesome. All right, wow, I really didn't think we were gonna be able to do that so soon. I say so soon. I mean, it's as we mentioned, we've been doing this for many hours, but we're here. We've done it. It's awesome. Okay. Um, this opportunity is, he, is solid. Would he really be happy with so please consider it. this amount of grassland? Let's see. How you feeling about that? You okay with that big guy? Because if that's the case, I'm gonna dump this. And I'm gonna add instead of viewing gallery. Um, I'm I'm thinking I'd rather have this. Right there. Alright, let's let's do that instead of this. And as long as he's still good, grassland is good, excellent. Is there a better way I could have managed this portion right here? Like what if I just went straight down? Nope, 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 nope. There. Ugh. Oh, dang it. Alright. And then fix my path. And then what I could do here is just. Ah, I can't. I can't do it. We have added a new viewing gallery for you to observe our magnificent. <laughs> it really will not let me mess with this one portion, will it? There we go. There we go. Wow. Nope, nope. Yes, right. That's what I want. Beautiful. Okay, and you're good, you're good. Oh, fantastic. All right, well, hey. What a successful episode. <laughs> we added so much to the park today, and we have our very first Indominus Rex, which is awesome. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more episodes every single... Well, not more episodes, but new videos every single day. Thanks for watching. We'll see all of you guys on the flip side.